power of mathematics. The power of mathematics can be embodied by answering these questions. What is mathematics? Where is mathematics? What is mathematics for? What is mathematics all about? How is mathematics done? Who uses mathematics? Why is mathematics important to know or learn? According to Ian Stewart, mathematics developed by human mind and culture is a formal system of thought for recognizing, classifying, and exploiting patterns. It is important to note that Ian Stewart is an emeritus professor of the University of Warwick. He has written various books relating to mathematics in the modern world. One of the most important areas where symmetry I think is, is very interesting is symmetries in the natural world. The key word here is the word pattern. A pattern is described to be regular, repeating, or recurring forms of design. And we've seen a lot of these in nature, like movement of stars in the night sky, the days and nights, and many more. Humans as we are, and with our immense curiosity, we tend to understand these patterns with the attempt of recognizing, classifying, and making use of them. That is why there is a need to develop a system of formal thought in the attempt of understanding these regularities. You have to understand that organizing this system of formal thought is something cultural. For example, consistent flooding of the Nile River during the 18th civilization had led them to discover one of the earliest mathematics activities, that is measurement and land survey. Where is mathematics? I sir, naas libro. Or ma'am, naas notebook sa maestras mathematics. Or naas sa utok sa mathematician. Well, these remarks could be humorous, but you have to understand that in everything that we do is something mathematical. We make predictions. We budget our resources. Our movement. Everything. Practically. Mathematics can also be found in nature just like the Fibonacci numbers, or in the arts, just like the golden ratio, which you will learn in the next video. And this golden ratio is evident in the paintings of Leonardo da Vinci, which is the Mona Lisa. This can also be found in music, like rhythm and melody. Again, the Fibonacci sequence is the secret of musical greatness. Mathematics can also be found in medicine. It is interesting to know that the golden ratio is the basis of the doctors in conducting reconstructive surgeries. But to mga anak ay naong gusto magpa-surgery, then golden ratio saves the day. Mathematics can also be found in communities, and that is very obvious. There are researchers and scientists who use mathematics in the conduct of their fields of specialization with one common goal, which is to better our ways of life. Another localized scenario is that your respective LGU officials use statistical data in governing respective communities in the distribution of relief goods in this pandemic time. Distribution sa ayuda ni Mayor, etc., etc., etc. Practically, math is everywhere. What is mathematics for? Mathematics is useful in making conclusions. Have you ever wondered why there are successful trips in outer space? One major element in the success of any space mission is the rigid and careful mathematical calculations, which in turn are conclusive and fixed. And that is mathematical power. Mathematics is also for predictions of the events of the world. One classic example of this power of mathematics 
is this. How in the world this phenomenon is predicted? How do they know that an asteroid, comet, or meteorite is approaching the Earth? Simply mathematics. Because it's used to describe the natural order and the occurrences of the universe. Mathematics is used to organize patterns, regularities, and irregularities as well. Mathematics helps to control weather. Do you know that mathematics, specifically calculus, helps meteorologists understand how the atmosphere works? Mathematics also helps in the control of epidemics or pandemics very timely. Mathematics plays a vital role in fighting COVID-19. Mathematicians have helped in the issuing of guidelines on how can we get back to work safely in the face of pandemic, like social distancing measures, and how virus physically spreads in the form of a mathematical model. Mathematics provide tools for calculations. Examples of these are your calculus, your algebra, your trigonometry, your geometry, and others. Either be pure math or applied math. Mathematics can also provide new questions to think about. For example, to increase and disseminate mathematical knowledge, the seven math millennium problems are introduced in 2000 by the Clay Mathematics Institute. What is mathematics all about? Mathematics is all about numbers, symbols, equations, operations, functions, calculations, abstractions, devising proofs, all these things around us. We may not notice it directly, but we are using it indirectly and unknowing. How is mathematics done? Mathematics is done with curiosity. And curiosity is a good instinct. When we are curious, we ask questions. And if we ask questions, we gain knowledge. And with knowledge and experience, we develop wisdom. Again, it's just okay to ask. Mathematics is done with a penchant to seek for patterns and regularities of the world. We should have this strong desire to look for patterns and try to understand these patterns. Mathematics is done with a desire to know the truth. Well, there are many pieces of truth right now, but what we try to aim here is an absolute truth. Mathematics is done with trial and error. What math teaches us is perseverance that there is always a thousand reasons to get up and try again once you stumble and fall. And this leads us to be fearless of facing more questions and problems to solve. Who uses mathematics? Specifically, mathematicians. Because mathematicians would either use mathematics in pure mathematics or in applied mathematics. Mathematics also be used by scientists. It could either be a natural scientist or a social scientist. Basically, every one of us uses mathematics. Why is mathematics important to learn and know? The answers are embodied in three short sentences. One, it puts order in disorder. Second, it helps us become better persons. Third, it helps make the world a better place to live in. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.